Bastone Walnut is nature's gift to woodworkers. And I'm going to take this gift, mill it to rough dimensions, and then create a beautiful picture frame. I am very fortunate to have access to locally grown Bastone Walnut that is fell and milled by a very good friend of mine. This wood is an exceptional hardwood to work with. I often get asked about it, and one of the questions that commonly comes up is, is it a natural tree? Well, the answer is, kind of. Claro walnut was already growing in California when English walnut was imported around the 1770s. What was later learned is that if these trees are planted close enough, they cross-pollinate. So, even though Bastogne walnut was not natural at that time, it is today. So the answer is uh, yes and no. Currently, Claro walnut is planted in California, specifically the Central Valley, which is where I'm from, because it is very efficient with water and can handle different soil conditions very well. So when the saplings are young, English walnut is then grafted in to achieve the needed higher yield of walnuts. Orchards like this are where most of the Bastogne walnut lumber comes from and is where 100% of the lumber that I get comes from. The center of the frame will be made from the heartwood with a little splash of sapwood. I'm gonna take this and then cove it on the table saw and then border it by sapwood strips. The piece will be finished with oil and then a furniture wax that is actually going to darken all the sapwood. So we're not gonna have this big contrast between the sapwood and the hardwood. The goal of this is just to simply do everything possible to show off the medullary rays in this beautiful wood. Making a picture frame is a test of fundamentals. Anything that is off shows up pretty quickly, so it gives you a chance to dial in your saw, sharpen up your hand tools, think about the joinery, and then ultimately how you're going to execute your design. There's nothing difficult about making a frame, and you really don't need fancy tools, but I would highly recommend making a custom picture frame sled if you plan on making more than one. Using the miter gauge to cut this level of precision on a table saw is a test of skill, and your miter gauge better be dialed in with zero wiggle. 